It's time for another CNC Nuts Top Tip. Straight flute bits. When I was starting out in CNC, this was the only type of cutter I could get. And today I still use them. Here's a 90 degree V cutter. Here's a slightly larger one that I use for surfacing my spore board. The straight flute bit has a couple of advantages. The biggest of which are they're cheap, and second off, you can sharpen them. It doesn't take much in the way of materials to sharpen your own cutters. I've just got here a tin of water to lubricate the diamond stones. I've got a magnifying glass just to see how progress is going. Very handy if you've got eyesight like mine. I've got the cutters that need sharpening. I've got my felt pen so that I can see where I've been sharpening. And I have the diamond stones. Now I brought a set of Easy Lap diamond sharpeners here. They come in extra coarse, coarse, medium, fine and super fine. And the ones I use mostly are the fine and the super fine. Now the sharpening process is very simple. Simply get your felt pen, and I'll demonstrate on this larger one here. And I'm just going to run the felt pen along this edge here and this edge here. Now, I'm going to simply dip my cutter in the water there. I'm going to put it on my stone. I'm just going to hang the stone over the edge. And I need to hold it flat. You must only ever start sharpen the uh, face edge here. Never try and do these bevels. You'll make the cutter a throwaway item. You just sharpen the face edge. So hold it flat on the easy lap and just move it backwards and forwards like so. Every now and then you can check your progress. I can see that I've done that on the edge here but I'm not quite getting the tip. So I'll just keep going a bit more. And that's good. All the felt pen has now gone from the outside edge and this edge here. I'd repeat the process for the second side. Once I'd done both sides, take my felt pen again and just put a mark on these edges like so. And I'll get my finer diamond stone. Put the cutter in the water. And repeat the same again on the fine stone. Again, I've got the edge here, but haven't quite got the tip. So I'll just keep just take your time. And there it is. I've now done this edge and this edge here. And that feels nice and sharp. Now if you do this regularly, the cutter won't get blunt and it won't take much to sharpen it. It's the same process you use when doing a 90 degree bit. Just put it on the stone hold it flat and just do both sides like so. Use the felt pen to mark the edges so that you can see where you've been. It's like when you do sanding, you put pencil marks on your wood, you start with a coarser sandpaper and move your way to the finer one.
the principle here is basically the same. If you want, you can get your magnifying glass and have a good look at the edge and see what it looks like. This edge looks really nice. Basically, that's all there is to it. If you've got a top tip you'd like to share, why not send it to the email address shown on the screen below. I'll make a short video clip of it and give you name credit. In the meantime, thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys later. Cheers! Never trust a man who when left alone with a tea cosy doesn't try it on.